Good uh, good evening, everybody. We are back for what is to be the, the finale of this first run. Like it or not, I will drag you kicking or screaming to the end of it. But uh, here we are. It is, I believe, Thursday evening, evening on VIP night at the convention. Um, you guys will notice to your to your right here. There's a big black box. So what I'm going to do here in the uh, in the case of brevity and kind of just moving things along, does anybody have anything specific they want to do in the next like day or so? By the way, really? I mean, you saw how boxes worked in the last adventure, uh, grinding the whole thing to a halt, and now you're giving us another box? I mean, okay. this is a different box, because I choose when this box opens. Oh, everyone says that. No, 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 my box is different. Okay, okay. I guess I'd like to know exactly what uh, me and the runner formerly known as Sue uh, what are we going to be doing that night and how much time are we going to have to proper job? Uh, you'll probably have about like four or five hours to to be vendors and to glad hand people. Okay. So, um, as I remember correctly, uh, I sort of bought a normal ticket to the convention, or yes. I wanted to, because no one else, uh, I was like too normal dwarf kind of person to go anywhere else. Uh, so that was normal ticket, but I just wanted you to remember that I had this watcher thing going on. Yeah. So, you know, okay. So that's, that's it. Nothing more. Okay. Okay. Because what I'm going to uh, do, I'm going to do, go ahead. Dante is just gonna change his face every now and then and use that kind of anonymity to stay as close as he can to the, uh, Sergeant Olson. Other than that, I don't really have anything on my list. Sure. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fast forward and, like, I'm just gonna take a day away from you here, kinda. Because, to let you know, I'm not gonna kill him tomorrow. But it just to kind of establish, like, a baseline for some of the things that are going on. Like those of you that are working the um, the vendor stall are going to be vendoring things, but during your course of you vendoring things, there may be things that you notice. There will be some for sure things that you notice because I have written them under the box of color. Uh, and then from there, we're going to go into some stuff to to get clarifying questions, and then later on. Um, if it's something that would have, uh, like let's for say on thir on Thursday or Friday, your target gets a a chimichanga at the the food stand, and then all of a sudden on Saturday you're like, oh man, what does he eat? You, know, you can roll a memory test, and we'll kind of just flash back to that, and you know, see how much extra information I can give you from the from the number of hitches. Like, wait a minute, he doesn't put hot sauce on his chimichangas. Um, Blasphemer. Right? He's a horrible person. He is a horrible um, person. He's a corporate employee. At least we don't have to worry. I was going to say, I'm going to check out the local network and see about connecting to it. I mean, you know, like the... Just to kind of browse the network and see what's on there. Like, if they have a network in the convention. So, the convention center has a host, and if you like you are able to exchange marks with it because you are an employee. Keep in mind that this means you know, you will be marked and um, you'll be able to do anything like a legal user could do. If you wanted to start doing illegal stuff since you are marked, the host automatically knows exactly where you are and you cannot hide from it. Well, the question is, would resetting my computer reset the uh, remove my marks? Yes, rebooting your device or, or your brain, as the case may be, will both remove the marks that you have placed and the marks that are on you. So I'll kind of just browse around as a you know legal user, just kind of make me a maker's maker's perception test, just to kind of see because that's not illegal, is it? No, it is certainly not. 
and just kind of see what's going on out there. Sure. Go ahead and uh, roll it up, and we'll see what happens. I'm going to assume that you're not doing it in hot sim because you know that would be weird to just kind of fall asleep on the the floor while you're supposed to be working. Excuse me, boss. I'm going to take this nap. I'm taking my 15. God damn it. <laughs> Insta nap. Seat matrix. Good luck. Not Good luck. Side. Come on, crit glitch it again. I hope not. I hope so. Well, what could happen? I mean, he's just browsing the network. Not nothing bad could happen, right? I mean, that depends upon what you. Not nothing bad will happen, but some interesting things will happen. Okay, is it a plus one or a plus two to Matrix Perception for being a Technomancer? Plus two. For some reason I had one in there. That's all right. You're just... Let's see. I should be rolling 12 dice. Maybe 11 dice. Well, 11 dice. um... Uh, so how many of that was, uh, uh, how many dice were ones? Oh, it didn't give me any modifiers, so no. Not give me any modifiers. Not enough, apparently. But, uh... Yeah, it didn't give me my last dice on it. Yeah, go ahead and roll two dice. So we're off to a good start. I mean, I'm okay with this start. <laughs> could be a worse Well, if they both come up ones... Oh, man, yeah, they could... Holy snake eyes this. Okay. So, Yay. So the the convention center host looks very much like the, the convention center itself. All of the uh the sculpting and such is done very much to resemble the architecture, down to like some of the doors being like this is the stuff inside there. There will be a big like security only sign that is like double the size of a normal door so it's very easy to see and it's um it is there there's a little couple of uh like employees only sections that are lined up that are kind of all over the place um you get a a question of something that you may ask and then you know uh you can ask a couple of other questions that are not like mechanically oriented questions Um, what rating is the host? That's one of the questions I can ask, and that seems somewhat uh, I prevalent. think that's like a, just like a rating three, I said. Okay. So I crack open the book. And, uh, if yeah. you're finished, are you finished? Uh... So, so I wanted to ask just a general question about like astral, astral perception. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just as I would from time to time sort of look in the astral, uh, is there anything going on? Like basically like in a crowd, so half of them are like awakened and stuff is going on and spirits going left and right, or is it just, you know, just uh, uh, how, how does it look like? And that's like the extent of my observation right now. So are you leaving your body and going flying around astrally projecting? No, no, I was just thinking about okay. uh, sort of because, looking around. Because astral perception is based on line of sight. So on on Thursday Damn night... It. Yep. On Thursday night, like, you're not allowed into the VIP air, the, the VIP show, because you're not a VIP, I am sorry. Right, 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 you're right, you're right, I forgot. So, okay, we'll leave that for later. Sure. So if there's another, like, quick questions you guys might have about the, the VIP evening, I will just wind the clock about 24 hours. Okay, so as a, as a fragging janitor, am I allowed in the, uh, VIP section? Oh yeah, no, this is a big deal. They've put you to work. Oh, no. No. Your, your day consists mostly of like a, a broom and a dustpan kind of walking around and like emptying trash bags. Suddenly me uh, working the floor doesn't seem so stupid, now does it? <laughs> 
So we good to wind the clock? Yep. All right. Yep. Go Sweet. ahead. All right. So the next day you guys get up, have breakfast. Everything's great, normal kind of thing. You guys are doing your professional criminal stuff, kind of keeping an eye on him. Um, I'm going to come over here to my box of color. I'll select it, I think. Boom. Stuff. Throughout the early ports of the evening and the early afternoon, this is the kind of things you guys run across. Um, there's something there for each of you. Um, so I'll start reading these off for anybody who may be listening to this in the future and doesn't want to read themselves. Hex, the, the technomancer that is emptying trash and being a janitor. Uh, you notice a young-looking child basically shopping, looking over a... Uh, a lot of really long hunting I say hunting rifles in that they are 100% sniping rifles you know they just label them as hunting rifles for tax and ownership purposes these rifles are longer than she is tall mm. uh, does Hex know anything about like biology and stuff um I don't believe so, but don't let me lie to you. Sure. I will move on. I will skip over Sue because Sue is not here at the moment. Um, Jet, your buddy Fat Andre, that you've been kind of just, you know, when you're the, the owner's son, you just kind of slack off and not really do a whole lot of anything super important when you're there. But mm -hmm. uh, he gets like, you're having this conversation, and he gets this look on his face, and he's kind of, you can see that he's looking past you, and you're turning around expecting him to be checking some, some girl out. But you notice that uh, Dante walks by, you know, just doing whatever it is that Dante does. And he's like, hold on, I gotta, I gotta make a call, I gotta, and he just kind of wanders off from the conversation. Dante. Uh, you notice a young female gnome being harassed by security. They're, you know, treating her as a child because gnomes look about 13. And it's like, you know, where's your dad and that kind of stuff. Going to kind of like escort her out of here by security. And she's like, tell him to frag off and stuff. That, And she kind of is like, I'm not a human. I'm a gnome, you morons. And just kind of giving it back to them. It's eventually broken up after a couple of seconds by a um, a human man. He's he's tall-ish. He's wearing some rounded glasses. He's got like I don't know the the proper description of this from a hairdresser's perspective, but if you take like a an electric razor and you put it on like the shortest setting and you start at your beard and you go to the top of your head, like he's got that kind of short fuzzy hair over his entire head. Mm -hmm. Um, comes over, kind of de-escalates the situation, then he and the gnome leave the leave that area. Uh, rot. Sometime, several times throughout the course of the day when you're just kind of like moseying about, keeping a, a subtle eye on things, you will notice that there is a, a man that very much matches the description that I just gave, who you will see kind of like looking over some things and kind of like looking up and you'll see him looking in the direction of your target and then when you kind of look back to where he is he's not there anymore that very much movie guy standing on a street corner van goes by guy's no longer there kind of situation but like on the uh, convention grounds yes it's like you know okay. he's he's there he's looking over at him you're like oh what, there's that guy again what's he oh he's looking at my and then when you turn back he's gone um, he doesn't ever get like really close to him or um, approach him in any way, staying at a good distance. You know, guys on one side of the aisle doing some stuff, he's like halfway down the aisle on the other side, just kind of like shopping at somewhere else. Um, and then Sue will notice, because um, he is so tall, that there are, when the... Uh, the sergeant and his entourage come by the elf girl she's looking around like she's trying to to pinpoint something she's got this very distracted look and is like you know kind of like when you're in a crowd and you hear somebody calling your name 
Now, uh, as I see a little like a meta gamey thing, would Rot? Uh, Rot didn't see that. Okay, so nothing. Um, could are the are the gnome and the uh, buzz cut dude? Are they are their comlinks able to be tagged? So everybody in here has like a comlink. Narrowing theirs down specifically would be kind of difficult. Um, okay. You are more than welcome to give it an attempt, but that's why we have dice. So through all that, uh, like clatter and stuff, we still have our communication, right? I mean, yeah. Like you guys, like you guys have each other's phone numbers, so you can text each other. But like, getting like in a crowd of fifty people, throwing a a velcro ball and hitting the right person, it's going to be a little hard. And that's kind of what you're yeah. looking to do to, to nail down their com codes. Well, I doubt that I could do that. And even if I could, I haven't seen them. Uh, so, you guys, I just I just wound us like 24 hours for the sake of convenience. If you okay, want, yeah. we, oh, this is during. Yeah, this is like between the, the time it opened to now. And we can wind... Uh, we can wind a little farther if you like. The sergeant. Can I just? Way... Sorry, I forgot. Uh, can oh, I yeah. just ask uh, Andre what that was all about? Uh, sure. Let me. I forgot one thing. Tonight, Friday night, which I wrote on here Thursday because I am a bad person. Um. Both Sue and Dante would um. Would find out that the sergeant, and. Fat Andre's dad have a dinner appointment for that evening. Hmm. And if you want to go uh, ahead and roll Fat Andre's loyalty, we'll see if he'll tell you what that was about. Sure. So as he's rolling, uh, I mean, you fast forward it through it, but uh, is there a chance to use my tracking skills? Like, any chance to use them on the convention grounds to see if uh, I can find that man? Sure. Um, real quick, it's just his loyalty? Yep. Not? Okay. Because this is how much of a buddy he wants to be about something that could potentially be family business. Could I add my charisma? Uh, no, because this is like... Okay. This is like his friendship towards you and how much like he's gonna let you in on something that his dad might be a little pissed off that uh um he's talking about. Sure. Like, you know, you could you could glad hand him all you want, but at the same time it's like uh yeah, no, my dad'll whoop my ass and then have and I'll point to like the you know, stock Russian model number four will break my legs. Yeah. Uh so so he'll he'll kind of brush off the details. However, he'll be like, you know, it's uh, family business. There's a there's a thing. I thought I saw something relevant. I I just had to make a call about it. I'm sorry. You know, it's sure, man. I don't tell you about my stuff. You don't have to tell me about yours. Yeah, but you do know that it was something almost assuredly Vori related. Yeah. Um. Would I be able to? Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll wait until uh, Rot's done. Sure. Uh, Rot, what did you... Oh, you wanted to try and track the guy. Well, like, you know, traditionally, like, walk up to the place, uh, sniff, uh, taste the ground, you know, look yeah. around. Alright, so you are in a convention center full of people. So... Yeah, yeah, I know. Get it, getting a smell off of this guy is going to be difficult. And if you want to go ahead and start licking the ground, you, you can most assuredly go ahead and do that. There have been a lot of people walking <laughs> here. But if you want to roll tracking, we'll see. Um... Uh, I am above Jet. I already rolled two successes. I just oh, didn't uh, title it um, no, that's tracking. Fine. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, you... The one time you, like, turn back... Like, you see the guy, and you don't go to look what he's looking at, because you know. Because, like, I've seen him do this, like, three or four times. And you go to move after him, and kind of, like, see where he's going to see what you can figure out. But 
after a couple of minutes, not a couple of minutes, like a couple of meters or so, he's going to turn a corner to somewhere and you're not going to see it. Uh, some big dude is going to be pushing a cart of something and you're a dwarf and he kind of gets in your way. There's probably like a, hey, I'm walking here kind of moment. But you will, you will unfortunately lose him. Okay. I will keep a mental note. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Um, you what won't would know, I... Give me, a, give me a perception test real quick, Rob. Because you're going to be like looking at this guy as you, uh, as you follow him. Let me see if you get any interesting details out of it. Can I roll my perception for when I was watching their scuffle with security? Uh, sure. Uh, sure. No. No, go ahead. You will probably get more information about her because she was involved more off longer. Mm -hmm. I mean, he looks like a guy. Uh, I knew it. Let's see about the. Uh... Yep, I was checking my gear again real quick. I forgot what I have that gives bonuses. If you want to roll um, it as general, I will totally give you, like, all kinds of information instead of, like, specific information based upon the sense that you are uh, using that as enhanced. Sure. <laughs> yeah, right. Tall people are the worst. What, with their... Aren't they? With what their able to reach high places and you know get to use the full height of their their apartments getting in the way and you know when you're looking until you hit your head on a subway pole getting off and then i'll be there laughing <laughs> laughing my ass off so something that is not going to surprise you that you're going to notice in this scuffle is everybody involved is armed you know this okay is they all have guns, but this is a gun convention. It at first it uh, it seems a little odd to you that like a, a thirteen year old girl would be carrying a a big pistol on her hip, but you know then the whole gnome thing comes out and it's like, oh, uh, that makes a little more sense. Um, I do have a select sound filter and some vision enhancement if that would change okay. the flavor of it all. Um, You'll hear a lot more of the actual conversation then, because I mentioned the thing like it starts up and then you you twist your gear to to block out more of the background noise and focus in on what's going on. Um, um, so you, I assume you've been hassled by cops before. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This guy is very much mall copping this person. Like you can tell that they know that they're not actually the child that they kind of appear to be but is doing it to be an asshole and to to show that they have a thing of power um you're gonna miss because like he he kind of enters into the situation his back to you and you have your select sound filters turned off or altered i should say um you're gonna miss what the guy with the glasses says but when he turns around to walk away, you will notice that he has, like... People here are carrying weapons. In addition to him carrying weapons, you can see underneath his thing, he has a very light um, body armor under his shirt, you will notice, as he kind of, like, dramatically turns around, trench coat flapping in the breeze, and you're like, that's... He's got some, some kind of rigging or extra protection going on underneath what he's wearing. Okay. Um, could I, between the vision enhancement and Trodes, get some kind of image of the two to the rest of the party? Do you have a, uh, a camera of some kind? Uh, just the Trodes. Yeah. Do you have, you don't have cyber eyes? Uh, no, I've got the contacts. Yeah, image link is a, is a picture in picture, not a, not a camera, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, but, uh... Like, as I was seeing it, I couldn't necessarily take a picture, but that also wouldn't be able to be broadcast to the team, or no? No, the d and doesn't okay. quite work that way. Um, um, you could, if you wanted, pull your comm link out and take a picture. Gotcha. But that's, uh, that is up to you if you want to do that. 
I mean, how big is the chance that we sort of started talking about that guy, like uh, in a in a texty way? That's up to you guys. I imagine after like the second or third time that Rot saw this guy scoping out your target. Um, I, yeah, I, it, it, if if I even went after him, I mean, I would totally sort of yeah. give. Uh, everyone's a heads up that there's like this one dude and I could be wrong but because of all the tall people but he's sort of you know always disappearing yeah no that that the way I kind of see it playing out is like um Sue will probably mention whenever he sees the elf that like she seems distracted irritated like she's got that like trying to to pick something out um, which, if you have like a magical theory or an arcana, you can you can go ahead and roll that, and I'll give you more details about that. Oh, oh, oh! I, I want I want this. Um, if he said it, I can sort of look at the elf also. Uh, if you wanted to track her down and go a sensor somewhere, you could totally do that. So first for the tracking, or just the sensor? Nah, she is not actively trying to not be found, so you don't have to track her. You can be like. Oh yeah, where did you where did you see her? And then she can, like Sue can be like, oh, I was at the, on the way to the bathroom or wherever it is that he saw her, um, and you can move in that direction. So you can find her pretty easily because she's not trying to not be found. Um, so you can just roll your sensing for her. So like Sue mentions this, uh, Rot probably scopes the guy peering this out. And mentions his description, which probably triggers um, Dante to mention the the interaction with the the scuffle. And then this is the only gnome that you guys have seen here, so that probably triggers the hex's memory. Which is why out of all of like the, the random bullshit that you guys have seen that is being at a convention, um, why this small chain of events kind of... Sticks out? Yeah, words. Okay. Okay, um, so two successes, by the way. Oh, let me... Uh... Well, you know that uh, she looks the same astrally as she did at the airport. And uh, you will see that this she has the same spell hanging on her. Uh, if you want to roll a separate ascensing for this, excuse me, the spell itself, I will give you details about the spell. Uh, her general mood is she is anxious and annoyed. Uh, healthy. Uh, you've seen it before, you recognize it, you... No implants. She's a magician. Shit. You are sensing the shit out of that spell. I, I was like, I didn't sense it before, but now... It's totally Spirit, there. help me. <laughs> so, with a million hits, you know that the... Uh, the spell is not a Technomancer. And it has no cyberware, and it has no yes! emotional state. Um, it is a force for... Uh, detection spell and since you got a million hits and I believe Dog gives you a detection bonus if memory serves uh, plus 2d6 for tracking uh, and the detection spells as such okay. so yeah so this is a detect enemy spell um, okay okay you know that somewhere in this crowd somebody means uh ungood things to to her or specifically um, to him because you can kind of like cast the detection spell on somebody else and then it like pings or something I don't remember the exact mechanics but somewhere in this crowd there is a person that means ill will to her and hers and uh, that doesn't surprise you because you know that there's a dude trying to to kill him Okay, but at least I know that sort of if she's uh, looking around, like based on my spells knowledge, I would guess that she sort of saw someone or felt someone or something. It, it's more that right now there are so many people here that like she can feel it and it's just like on the edge of her her perception, but she can't lock it in. 
and she's just kind of looking around. And it's like, I know there's there's something here. Okay, so I would probably uh, tell everyone else that uh, you know the elf uh, having the spell on her uh, is looking for someone. So I, I guess our target. No. Okay, and uh, two things. One, uh, I want to shoot to Rod. Next time you see the bald guy or the gnome, uh, could you read their aura thingamahoppers? Maybe to let your ghost pervert know? <laughs> well, my ghost pervert is not here anymore. Well, for future reference. And uh, I'd also, what would I need to roll to try and get in with uh, Papa Andre to maybe get access w to that sit down? Um, what kind of, so here's, here's the questions that I will have for you. How do you want to do it? Do you want to lie to him and kind of get yourself in that way? Do you want to play up to him and kind of like you know butter his bread as though it were like oh I'm trying to you know learn some more do you, do you want to be like do you want to offer him money be like yo like what's your what's your approach in this situation uh, um where do you want to go through your your buddy yeah I'll try and go with the weak link of the chain <laughs> so l let me let me ask you this are you going to use him as leverage or are you going to try and convince him that the two of you should totally go to dinner like you're not going to dinner with your dad I thought you were going to dinner with your dad well I I could do that and I'd also there's also the possibility of me saying listen man I know I don't talk about my business but there might be a uh, my job might cross over with that dinner and it might work for your it might be uh, beneficial for your business if I was there So you're, you're more or less spilling the, the beans that your business involves this guy. Um, in as vague a way as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so, I stick I mean, my hand inside, but only so that I can, you know, take it out as quickly as I can. No, like I don't want to reveal like, any oh. serious specifics. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to go as, as uh, I don't want to reveal why or exactly who, although it's kind of implied. But sure, no, no, no. Uh, let me let's let's do this again. You want to go ahead and roll his uh, his loyalty again, and we'll see we'll see whether he accepts that or if he uh, or if he presses you for more information. Okay. Because you know you didn't press him when he told you about his business thing, but like this is a slightly different business thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so he's gonna be like, kind of that thing where he like pulls you aside, puts the arm around you, and kind of like, your business that you had me get you in here for involves that guy. When you say it like that, you sound you make it sound like I'm trying to violate trust here. I'm trying to help you. If you're trying to help me, man, like. This is kind of a big deal. So, like, if I'm going to go to my dad and he's not going to slap me in the mouth, like, I'm going to need something a little bit more than that, man. I know we don't talk about business like this, but, like, business like that is, is a little more serious. Andre, he's a big wig. Yeah, that's why this is more serious, man. Like, I don't want to... Yeah, no, 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 no. Do the math. 
Are you here to kill him? No. He, he, like I said, I am not trying to hurt you. In fact, I'm trying to do the opposite. Wink, wink with that last question. So he, he takes a little bit of a deep breath. He's like... Listen, I don't want to bring shit down on you. Okay? That's why I'm trying to be as vague as possible. Right, right. No, no, no. I, I get it. That's how we That's how we do it in the business. But I'm just... I'm just making sure that if I go to Dad on a favor for you that I've kind of already done a favor for you. But, you know, I, I just... I just don't want to get smacked in the mouth. And he kind of like rubs his jaw a little bit. I know. I know. So, um, right. I, it's it's a big ask, but I'm trying to help you, man. All right, I'll tell you. You see what I buy. You come helping me, too. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Let me, uh, I'll, ta I'll talk to him and I'll see what I can, uh, see what I can do. Love you. <laughs> he gives you a little, like, Sixth world fist bump. Um, if you could roll me eleven dice, we'll see how well he does with his dad. Okay. Go, Andre. This is like his quantity of uh, father father love dice. Uh, it's more, so mechanically what I did was double his loyalty plus his connection because his connection is kind of like how good he is at his thing and his loyalty is how much he is of a friend so in this situation this is more of a, a favor for a friend thing so with four hits he's going to be able to like arrange to get the reservations that they have are going to be dad um, fat Andre and you okay and that's all that's going to be there from his side. And then that's the sergeant and whoever the sergeant's bringing in. Cool. Um, the dinner reservations are for 7 o'clock tonight. And it's at a uh, a fairly nice restaurant that is, that's got a couple of private rooms. They have a private room reserved. Um, we're looking at like a, a slightly above high lifestyle kind of place. Um I could further but rip off Gen Con and make it a Brazilian steakhouse. In fact, on the convention grounds? Well, those places are awesome, away. so... Yeah, go rip away. Um, yeah. I am going to update the team on the situation uh, and point out the fact that anything they do would have to be passive, because I'm already running the limit on what on, on, on their goodwill. On, on, you know, the, the, my contacts. Do you guys want to do anything else? Now, uh, as I understand it, uh, we can sort of fast forward to the time when they are going to dinner, or... Yes, we, uh, can, we can fast forward to dinner. If, if, because I think, um, I would sort of text with, uh, with a team and ask Dante if I should sort of follow uh, Invisible uh, and sort of watch from afar or whatever because I'm not that good at hiding. You guys, if you want, can go have dinner at the place in like the public area. It would be about 150 million for the meal. No, 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 definitely Invisibility. I'm not spending 150 million. No, no, no. We got money up front. Yeah, and we sort of spent account. most of it. I don't know about All most right. of it. Are you? Are you? Fine. I I will forward, Rod, a buck fifty, out of my cut. <laughs> oh, we are eating tonight. To behave. <laughs> we are eating. Oh yeah. Are is everybody here familiar with Brazilian steakhouses? Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, no, but I get the uh, general picture, I guess. So, imagine a place where you can go and sit down, and you have your, your plate in front of you and your, your setting and stuff, and there's a coaster that is red on one side and green on the other. And when you have it flipped to the green side, people will walk around, lean over to you be like, would you like some chicken? Or would you like some lamb? Or would you like some beef? Or would you like some steak? It's just meat. Meat, 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 meat. And then we'll continue to bring you meat, 
until such a time as where you take that coaster and you flip it down so that it is red. And then you may eat in peace until you realize, you know what, I would love some more meat. And you flip your coaster back up. And then the, the onslaught of meat will continue. And you will eat this way until you feel the need to go home and fall into a meat coma. And you will. Like Why don't we have places like this? Jesus. Sounds like heaven. Yeah, they're also expensive. If you tip really well, you'll get some prime treats from the chef. Yeah, like it's it's crazy expensive. There's a couple of them around where I live, like in Philly and stuff. Uh, it's like seventy five to one hundred bucks for a dinner. To but you know it's yeah. all you can eat really delicious meat. Um, Good cuts. Sure, sure, okay. So um, you know uh, that buck fifty was for uh, going with you. Uh, with my best low style, uh, low lifestyle behavior, uh, and not <laughs> being invisible. You're not going with them. the th The other three of you are free to go and just go as normal people because it's oh. open to the public. So you would be like, they would probably sit a bunch of random people together at a table because you know they have these big, long, ten, twelve people tables that you just sit at, so they can just walk around it and and serve you meat. Sure. Um, if if uh, uh, <laughs> so, I guess buck fifty won't buy me much, but I can just sit there. No, I mean a hundred fifty. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no, he he's oh. paying your meal, oh. so you will have. Like, if it's such a big deal, I would rather have the entire team in a watching position because there's only so much one man can do. Well, I don't want to go spend my money either. <laughs> oh fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, the payout is worth it. You owe yes. me, though, Dante. <laughs> That's right, though. I somehow feel like sleeping in the car, quote-unquote, might be a better contribution to the team on my end. Thank you, Hex. That is totally well, something I mean, you can do. Uh, it's, like, better for me to be hot sim than, you know, AR. Well, I was thinking about going full Astral also, but uh, I don't feel like it, so I'm gonna just sit there and you, you know, cannot... prepare my na napalm spell in case the negotiations needs to be ramped up. Sure. It's it's also a nice place. They might have uh, magic security. You're, you're in a nice place in a area that is outside of a gun convention that has important people at it. There may not be magical security for the building, it's for the business itself. There's probably going to be somebody there that's kind of, you know... I know. I'm, I'm joking. I mean, come on. So. Although, do I need to leave my gun outside? I mean... Uh, probably not if you have a license for it. Like, this yeah, is probably yeah. the kind of situation where, like, to stop and search everybody for guns, like, security-wise, is going to be nigh impossible, given the, uh, the convention. However, it is probably also still peace-tied, unless you want to break it after the convention and get it re-peace-tied tomorrow. Uh, does that cost anything? But I yeah, no, I, sure, why not? No, it it doesn't matter. I'm just throwing it out there as a thing. So, um, um, so yeah, I want to unpiece tie it. So so I have like an unpiece tied gun as sure. much as possible. Um, thank you, Dante. I'm going with him later. <laughs> Get a whole bunch of meat. So you guys will be uh. Fast forwarding to the the dinner. Sure, I think so. I'm also gonna free my weaponry. Sure, um, it's not difficult. It's like maybe a, a complex That's action cool. or two to to do if it were to, you know, be in the moment. We'll say. Um. So the the dinner will go pretty well. Dante, are you trying to do anything? Let me let me set the stage. You guys are gonna have your private room. The um, the troll is gonna poke his like you guys will arrive first. The troll will poke in his head, look around, and kind of stand there for a moment. And then the sergeant and the elf will come in. They will have a seat. The troll will nod to the elf and go outside and stand in by the door. Um, you guys will be in there. They will begin to talk about pleasant just how the convention is going so far and that kind of thing until they begin to be delivered food the elf will not eat any meat 
she will be served the salad and her uh coaster thing will be to the to the red um are you trying yeah, to I'm do just... anything or are you just trying to fast forward through this dante well, i'm thinking for a sec sure hex you were talking about something yeah, I'm going to send a text to the team and be like, don't forget to bring me some scraps. <laughs> this is a nice place. This is not a doggy bag place. Yeah, but Hex doesn't care. <laughs> She's hungry, David. As Dante palms the steak into his jacket. Um, <laughs> now, now, would I need to, like, with my low lifestyle, would I need to roll for, like, a willpower or something to force myself to observe while I have this all this delicious meat in front of me? You might need to roll charisma to see if the host lets you in with that filthy outfit. Hey, hey, it's my best brown coat. It's it's okay. I there, take care of it. It needs to be white. <laughs> Why must you shame me? They're not associated with you at the moment. They're they're just there. Just uh, exactly. in general. That is someone who has one hundred and fifty dollars for meat. Okay, so come on. Um, that is up to you, Rod. If you feel like that is something that your character would struggle with in this situation. I'll keep an eye out. You go ahead and eat. Sure. Aww. Then I'm eating for sure. I'm waiting for a nudge, you know, to sort of give the stink eye. It's the stink eye alert. <laughs> I I love the image of him just like nom nom nom, and then he gets the the nudge and he turns. And there's just like a piece of meat just dangling from his lips. Like, Rrr. Rrr. he hit a really <laughs> nasty piece of crystal. Yeah. Hanging from yeah, his ear. Yeah, and, and there's like this this weird crystal hanging from his ear, so he looks positively weird. Um, um, go ahead. Could I connect to the grid and search for hidden icons? Sure, that would be a matrix perception. Let's see. I think I've got it set up to do all my modifiers. You can in actually do this from the hotel room if you want. It is within uh, like a kilometer of the place. Mm. That sounds fair. Am I getting a noise penalty? Does yeah. this thing, the dice, give you like any indication of how many ones did oh, you get? Yeah, if you, if yeah, you if hover you over success, getting what two more dice? Or no, I guess it's not in hot so It'll be the same. So I got four successes. Okay. So yes, there are several running silent devices. I shouldn't say several. There are a lot of running silent devices in the area. Would you like to quantify that search by any means? Um, anything that looks let let like me let me clean up what I meant. Um, so we're basically like you've you've made the search. The first question was, is there running silent icons? Yes. Now we're going to add a keyword to that search. Are there running silent icons that have, or that are, or something along those that lines? Are, or at least appear to be personas of some sort. Or yeah, you get that one for free because everything item. is like a, a persona. Is everything a persona? It kind of, like every active user is a persona. There will probably yeah. be like some cameras that are around that are running silent just to like keep the spam down a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. And are there um, anything that would be flagged as like dangerous, like a weapon or something that would be running silent? I'll give you this one for free. You're at a weapons convention where everybody's carrying guns. There are many running silent guns. Yes, but that is illegal. They're all criminals. I should report them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you do not see any guns or any icons for guns that are forbidden. Okay. Do you like any more information on them? I'm trying to think of something useful to ask, but, like, I'm not coming up with anything. You can work on just narrowing it down. Like, right now you said running silent in the area. What about mm -hmm. specifically at the restaurant? Well, that's what I was thinking. Maybe the, it's just the being weird down. without uh, without marks on things. You can't get their exact physical location. Okay. So, if you want to start hacking stuff, well... We start hacking stuff. D don't maybe oh, not yet. <laughs> um, um, another good question to ask would be based upon device rating. You could try and like most um, most guns and common electronics are going to be like device rating too. 
maybe device rating three if it's a uh, a fancy thing. Mm -hmm. um, so you could ask if there's anything over a certain device rating. You could ask if there's anything with like an attack attribute, and that would show you up uh, a bunch of cyberdecks or technomancers or sprites or agents. Um, that actually sounds really good. So I want to see if anything has a sleaze attribute. Uh, there is a decent amount of things with a sleaze attribute here, ignoring the hosts because hosts aren't personas and we're only looking at personas right now. Um, mm -hmm. There are about 10 different things that are running silent with a sleaze rating. Okay. And is there anything above rating three, well, rating three and up? Um, out there that's run silent. Let me let me check a quick price sticker thing. Because cyberdecks are super fucking expensive. Yes, they are. Um, who had the car? I mean, whose car are you sleeping in? Well, I was told I could do it from the hotel, so I'm assuming I'm in the hotel. Yeah. You want to sleep in the hotel and get out of your body? Okay. He's not really leaving his his body. So things that you see above rating three, you see a singular. You see two personas above the vice rating three. One is a rating three. One is a uh, is a rating five. Okay. That dog I guess I can't get any particular like special information about the rating three or the rating five with this. Uh, if you want to do a, a matrix perception on them individually, I can give you specific information yeah. about them. And the, uh, the list of things that you can question is on page 235. See about doing the tier 5 first. Sure. Let's see. Situation modifiers, none. So I got two. Alright, what would you like to know about the high device rating thing? Okay. Um. It says it's on page 237. 235. It should be in a red box on the side. It is on 235. Um. Can I tell what programs are being run by it? It is not running any programs. Dun dun dun. While you're thinking of a second question, um, Jet, are you doing anything or are you just kind of looking around, chillaxing, having a good time? Um, I'm trying to keep a lookout. I mean, there's not a lot that I could do without uh, giving away what my primary job is. Sure. Um, but I am trying to I'm sorry. I, keep I, a I sharp eye in, out. I had you and Dante backwards. Dante, are you doing anything interesting while this is going on? I'm just looking for familiar faces. Um, prioritizing that over enjoying the food. Sure. You want to give me a perception test? We'll see if you find any familiar faces. Uh, Dante, one thing that you will notice is the the elf looks relaxed. She doesn't seem as anxious as Sue was describing her earlier. Or would I notice okay. that? I'm sorry. Uh, Jet would notice that. I keep getting you guys backwards. We do look so, awful uh, like. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, can it be the case that I sort of told everyone about the fact that uh, sort of you can learn a certain version of a spell, and if she has like detect enemies, she will probably be when she will look distracted. Is probably because of the spell. Can yeah, it be is... like that, or is that too much? No, that is something you can one hundred. Like you, you are a mage with a detection granting uh, mentor spirit. So. You uh, you can very easily infer that, like you know how detection magic works. 
I thought that that was already communicated. Yeah. No, no, but like in specific. But you know, okay, yeah. fine. No, you no but I mean, okay, if she looks, you know, freaked or whatever, that's probably a good sign. Yeah. Uh, so or a bad sign. With one hit on your your thing, you don't. You don't. Yeah. I get nothing. You know, you recognize your friends. Yep. Hey, how are you? Oh, nom, 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 nom. Meat's delicious, Meat's delicious, by the way. Nice. Um, uh, can I uh, shoot a little something over to Hex? Maybe we want to keep an eye on what's getting entered as orders from their table. So you, good, you don't place call. orders at Brazilian steakhouses? Yep. Like, they just uh, kind of walk around and lean over to you and be like, would yeah. you like whatever? Mm-hmm. Um, well, they could not. Hex could keep track of the security system or in that doggy bag. <laughs> um, I'm gonna let you know, guys, I'm not gonna try and kill him at dinner. That's just rude. But this is a good time for you to guys to get a lot of a lot of good information. Like, you know right now that... like um, <laughs> Earlier I described the office being really distracted and anxious and, you know, that kind of stuff. And that's because you knew that some dude that happened to be coming up on your radar was probably the one that is setting off her detect enemy spell because you know we're in it we're in like a tv show so if this was a tv show you know that that guy is clearly the bad guy but it's how will the heroes figure it out Mm -hmm. so like stating that she comes in and she looks relaxed and at ease and not like anxious at all was trying to communicate that you guys are safe because they're not gonna they're not gonna do it i understood that you know you know that uh, the team is paranoid when your uh, game master has to tell you outright that he won't kill the target here. I am it's clarifying true. the the language of communication that we are trying to cultivate. Yeah, yeah. call it call it as you want. <laughs> I'll trust it up. God damn it. Um, however, this so... is like a the oppor- the idea here is to give you guys the opportunity to interact directly with the target and do what you will. Um, By us, you mean Dante? Jet, I mean, Jet. Jet. Yes, Jet. God damn yeah, it. He's the one that's still... um, um, I'm the Sasquatch. I'll I mean, try and... Okay, so one, once again, who's with the fat Andre and on the dinner, and who's not? Who's next to me, so Jet. they're nudging me? Dante, Dante is, is next to you. Uh, Jet is in the uh, back room with the right. target. Okay, thank you. Sorry. And Jet is also paying for your meal. <laughs> is he though? Oh, okay. Now I will forever remember you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hex, can you roll me eight dice for a second? Sure. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid to. Nah, don't be. It's nothing bad. That's what you said last time. I didn't believe you. I mean, did you roll poorly? Yeah, just choose to roll better. Just, oh, so, you know. Yeah, just just get better at RPGs, man. Get get good. <laughs> oh, I didn't roll it. I forgot the slash. Okay. Oh. oh no! Now he knows your plan. Oh no! Let's see. Uh, let's see how you do. Pro tip, you can just hit up in the chat box. Alright, well, good news about this this one hit that you got. Uh, you have insider information. So you're looking, you're like, oh, what was the last thing they did? And it it doesn't return as a um, a proper matrix action. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're a technomancer, so you get the idea that this person may also be a technomancer. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And I, I don't mean that is like you get the wrong idea. Like they are a technomancer. If you had rolled higher on your uh, your matrix sets roll there, I would have given you more information about what resonance action they just performed. Mm-hmm. But um no, no, I was asking what matrix action they performed as my last action. Right. My last question from so like Hex goes to find out oh, what's the last Matrix action they performed and you get a bunch of gobbledygook back. <laughs> okay. 
So you're like, wait There's a second. Probably goop. Um, because technomancer bullshit that they perform doesn't show up as um, correct normal matrix activity. Like your your sprites don't look like when you look at an icon, you know, you you get information about it. But when you look at say a sprite, it mm -hmm. it looks off. Like this should not be a functioning icon, but it is because it's technomancer bullshit. Okay. You being a technomancer, you're like, wait a second, hold up. You don't know what they just did, but they are for sure a technomancer. Okay. I'm going to discreetly send them a message asking them, um, you know, what's going on? Do they have any uh, sprites monitoring the area? Oh, it's a sprite. man. You're asking the this technomancer that? Mm -hmm. No, I, I I thought that he asked. Yeah, he is the group. Okay. Uh, um, can you roll me something social oriented? What do you want? I'm. Do you have like etiquette or anything? like what do you what do you have that all? So going to somebody like. Hey, are you one of those things that people get kidnapped and thrown and cut up and experimented on? Might spook some people. Yeah, I have etiquette. Sure, if you want to do that, we'll we'll see how it comes across because, uh, you know, like if you get a lot of hits, you your message will get across, but it'll come across their their screen is like a, hey, you know, I've never run into another one of us. You know what? Rather than be like, yeah. Uh, okay, so they in the matrix, you're gonna see this persona was was doing whatever it is they were doing, and then they're gonna kind of turn and look at you, and they're just gonna like get a real defensive for a second, and they're gonna look at you real hard. Are you running silent right now? I am indeed, just like they were. All right, can you go ahead and roll your logic plus sleaze? Because of no particular reason. Because uh, they're trying to find out about you. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like yeah, I think I you, actually you tapped them, them on the them. on the digital shoulder, and they're like, oh, "Holy shit, who is that? <laughs> who is that? Shit!" So that, since that this is a uh, an opposed test, we're gonna we're gonna see how much information they get about you. Besides, my logic is six, and your sleaze is your intuition, so it's probably like eleven dice. It is. Uh, that should be fairly easy to beat. Yeah, unless you want to edge it. You um, are really forthcoming, you know. You just you just like to be looked at. <laughs> Apparently I am. I did. Hey, everybody's got their thing. <laughs> The one bad roll that <laughs> right. he's ever made. So, like, it'll... You'll see the persona, like, pause for a second and look around and, like... They're just gonna wait. Like, you can see... You can see... Because, you know, you... Um, mm -hmm. You've already spotted them, so you can just check, like, what their last Matrix action was. And they're very clearly mm -hmm. looking around. Do you want to do anything, or do you want to just let this hang? Make friends. Um, would it be possible for me? Well, no, that'd use a, a. How many servers do I have on one of my sprites? Because I figured that'd be the easiest way if they're familiar with it. I mean, you know... could just stop running silent. Yeah. Well, that's true. I haven't done anything illegal yet, so I could, and then I could go back silent again. Yeah. Is that is that what you wish to do, or? Uh, that's what I'll go ahead and do. Okay. Hex, uh, look out! He said he w he won't he he said he won't kill the sergeant, but he said didn't say anything about you. All right, you become yes. you become I'll... visible. You are link locked and being data spiked. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie. Um... <laughs> I was like, wow, that that's severe quickly. Nah, like, you can't link lock without shit. uh without doing a bunch of damage. So they're um. So they're gonna send a message 
try again. Yeah, no, they they can just see you now. Um, yeah, we'll we'll cut away from you for just a second to, to go back over here to to Jet. So, in this meeting, are you trying to do anything in particular? Um, I am trying to, aside from keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. You're in a small room with a magically active elf, a your buddy, his his dad, and there's a large troll outside. Yeah, I mean, aside from that, you know, just try and observe the situation. Okay. Um, Jet, you said you were, uh... I'm sorry, not Jet. Dante, you said you were keeping an eye out earlier for anybody you recognized. You will totally see totally. the troll in the back, because he's a troll. It's really easy to see him. Um, you will notice from time to time he stops one of the, uh servers with their skewers of meat and he will just like kind of take his giant troll hand grab like a whole like 8 ounce steak and pull it off and begin eating it he chews okay. through the skewers no he pulls it off the skewer you know he's not completely uncultured but he's got like a a dish rag in one hand and he's kind of just like just going to ham on this thing So if nobody is going to do anything crazy, we'll pop over the hex, see what they do with their new Technomancer friend, air quotes. Uh, and then hopefully my girlfriend and the pizza will be here, and we'll take a quick break. So hex, you what... You didn't buy me pizza. I sure didn't. You're, uh... Um, I think I'm going to grab a handful of meat and walk up and talk to the troll, or at least try to. Sure. Uh, are you taking a plate, or are you just literally grabbing a handful of meat? No, I'm literally grabbing a handful of meat. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> I will jump over to you in a in a second, then. Yeah. Uh, Hex, you have, you have the opportunity to to talk to this Technomancer, who is has not logged off, so there's some kind of curiosity going here. I'm going to go back to running silent, because I don't like to be stared at. Sure. You uh and... you receive a ping on your brain. <clears throat> like incoming call from and then there's no like nothing shows up, it's just like incoming call gobbledygook. Excuse me. Okay. So I guess I'm going to answer is this like the first incoming call I've ever received like technomancer like this? Uh that's up to you. Have you interacted with other technomancers in your past? I'm assuming they're very rare, and I'm assuming if I did, it was for a very short amount of time. Okay. So that is up to you as to whether or not this is your first techno to techno uh, actual conversation. Well, like, I was wondering if it was using any special techno, like, uh, submersions or anything, or if it was just, like... Not that you are familiar with. Okay. So this is just, like, a normal call, more or less, just the yep. resonance? Okay. Yep. They, essentially, they are just using their living persona as opposed to a a comm link. Okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. So I go ahead and answer the call. Okay. Uh, you'll get a bit of a distorted voice. That's like, "Who is this?" I'm like, "This is hexadecimal." <laughs> Who? I'm like hexadecimal. And then. <laughs> It'll just be a question mark emoji of like, okay, um, hi. I'm like, yeah, it's not often we see, uh, you know, one of us running out here. Uh, you'll get back like a, one of those worry emojis. And you're like, I'm not sure I know what you mean. Like, He's no. being coy. I'm like, um, true. Sure I know what you did. Uh, I'm um, trying to think of the emoji. Possible? Yeah, I was gonna say, is it possible to like explain, like, I guess in a not metagame term, but like, you know, you I can... guess more so I read your log. 
you could, and I saw where you, and then you know, insert whatever weird matrix things they did. Like does, I saw where you created a sprite or compiled a sprite. Or has uh, has Hex ever looked into how they are able to do the things that they do? Like, do they know that it's called the resonance, or that they know that, um, or like I mean, how do I'm they sure, refer to the things that they do? Yeah, like I'm sure Hex has heard like terminology like that thrown around. Okay, but I don't know that Hex has deeply dived into that kind of thing. Sure. Uh, you you can just be like you know I I saw you do something in the resonance, um, yeah. Because you don't know exactly what they did, but at the same time you know it was something that was not normal on the matrix. So that's what I'm going to tell them is you know I saw, I saw that you played in the resonance for a little while. Sure. And then it'll kind of just like end, like what's. So, uh, I don't, I don't know what you're, what you're getting at. Like, I'm like, well, I do too, from time to time. Do you? And it'll, it'll literally be like that. Like, it'll be like a do you, and then text message ends. Space, like, you, you don't get it, do you? Get what? Do, do you know what they do to us? Um, you're all like, oh, look at me with my crazy brain powers, and you're just throwing I'm yourself like, out there. You trying to get, you trying to get got? I'm like, well, I have an idea of the kind of stuff they do to us. So, you know, I, I just figured since I bumped into you know somebody, I'd probably say hi. There will be a. Uh... A pause as somebody walks up to a troll with a hunk of meat. <laughs> what the uh, now? E even even Rod sort of stops eating and sees that and is like, "Wow, I can learn from that guy." You're just eating the meat like a hand fruit. Yeah, pretty much. You got an apple. Uh, no, I'm gonna walk up and as I'm walking, I'm gonna take a nice big old bite and make sure. Uh, a little of it gets on my face. Okay. Just, hey, is it any fresher back here coming right out of the kitchen? So as you approach him, he's gonna go from a little bit of his leaning against the wall relaxed posture to kind of like a standing up thing. And, uh, what meta type are you again? I'm a human. Okay. So he's gonna look down at you. Uh, he will quickly, like, wipe off his hands and stick the, the dish rag in his back pocket. And assume a a professional looking opinion but you know that this dude's got like grease running down his chin and a dirty rag in his pocket and was just eating like a savage he's gonna hold up his hands no admittance sir oh I'm not looking for admittance to anything <laughs> I was gonna grab someone that's coming out of the kitchen to see if you're onto something he's gonna look from you to the kitchen to the door do you wanna do you wanna give me some kind of social dice to see to see what happens here because it could very easily yeah, sure. you, uh, grab you by the back of the collar and the scruff of your pants and huck you on out of here. Uh, you said he was cyber. Does he have anything to contradict my pheromones? You don't know. Well, it comes down to am I rolling those dice or not? You can roll those dice. This is less of an opposed okay. test, more of a gauge his, uh, gauge his response test because at the moment he is neutral. All right, so what am I rolling? Because that doesn't sound like a con or anything. Etiquette. Uh, it could be etiquette. It could be negotiation. It's kind of it's kind of up to you on how you want to approach the situation. As uh, as somebody, oh, you said just not an innuendo. Uh, I thought you said just roll intimidation, and that, that you could totally intimidate. You can be like, "What up, bitches?" <laughs> yeah, no, that's because I said, uh, "Nice grabbing that meat." Yeah. Two just guys not, uh, talking about meat. Innuendo. Well, in which case, I will roll my con because that's what I'm actually trying to do. Sure. Hmm. That's not half. No, that's that is for sure not half. Um. So yeah, no, he's 
gonna kind of like relax a little bit and that you're just kind of talking about the food um and he'll give you a little chuckles like eh, it's it's good enough they uh they get a little squeamish when you just kind of tap them on the shoulder and grab grab it off the skewer hey all's well that ends well right um next time someone walks through i'm just gonna reach out and grab some and keep being a savage I just look at them as like tall people. <laughs> Goddamn tall folks. Um, so yeah, no, he'll just kind of. Are you trying to get anything particular out of him, or are you just trying to make a friend? Right now, I'm just being friendly. Okay, because you get a million pile of hits, and I wasn't sure if you're trying to uh, get anything get out anything. of him. Make I'll ask uh, some general questions like, hey, you doing anything good here or just for the food? Uh, he will state that he is working um, and he will not so, give you uh, any details about how he is working. Um, you will be able to get his name. Okay. Um... He says you can call him Frank. He does kind of stress the officer part because he uh, kind of like puffs his chest up and is a little bit more like, yo, I'm a big deal and not just because I'm nine feet tall. So if you're here working, they're picking up the bill at least, right? <laughs> he just kind of laughs and uh, grabs a random dude that's got some other kind of meat on it and he takes a chunk and he brings back out the dish rag and it's just going ham they better be I'll try and palm some meat for uh, Hex as well I mean sure you actually want me to roll palming for it? no does no. anyone care if I just cram you're, handfuls you're of meat in my a, pocket? A, a, a giant man who is just kind of Nobody's looking it. at me. Yeah, it's like, oh, he's with that guy. Just let him be. Don't, don't mess with him. Just, just let him do his thing, and he <laughs> won't, he won't wreck the place. Um, moving back over to Hex. Uh, does Hex actually have an idea of what they do to Technomancers? Uh, well, Hex was in a court and then got broke out, so kind of. Okay. Not necessarily like a definite, like, all the bad stuff. Okay, so you will get a, a message back from this this other Technomancer of like... <sighs> Alright, let me ask another quick question. How long has Hex known that there is something up in that they are a Technomancer? Um, probably like most people like in their mid to late teens so maybe eight nine years okay um so they'll ask you whether or not you're you're new to this um uh, hex gonna say um kind of i've only been doing it for you know what six seven years there's just that uh the smiley face emoji where they're just rubbing the forehead comes back it's like alright look um I'm gonna be around the convention I'm gonna be busy for the next couple of days but let me just uh we'll get together and we'll talk you know matrix freak to matrix freak <laughs> I'm like okay so I will I don't know if I should but I will ping him my comlink number so I can Oh know, they already have it. In. They have like your brain comlink number. Oh okay 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 so I won't need that then. So uh we'll kind of kind of deal with that sometime in the future. Um, okay. 
Chat, do you know anything about business or the underworld or anything along those lines? Um, let me double check. I see a police procedures. Yeah, I have a uh, police procedures street knowledge. Uh, uh, gangs. Let's go with the, the police procedures. That's probably a little bit more direct. Okay. Uh, so I'm rolling that? Yeah. Okay. We'll see how that gets you as I desperately await my pizza arriving. So there's not a whole lot in their in their business conversation that you really pick up on, um, with the exception that there is some not legal gun sales going on here. Really? Yes. On second thought, no. Okay. The uh, the elf does not seem like she's not participating in the conversation, but you can kind of see in her eyes that she's she's following it. Um, but you know she's she is hired to be there to be protection, so she doesn't like do anything um, to interrupt. But the the deal that is being discussed. You don't get a lot of the details. This could be like a long-term thing that is being set up. But, uh... Yeah. There is there is some kind of gun sale being negotiated. Criminal activity? I, I will not cotton that. Alright, cool. Has anybody got anything else that they want to do in this kind of situation by the way jet are you sort of talking and texting to us or are we totally oblivious of the th stuff that they're talking about i'll give semi-regular updates but i'm not going to spill the beans on there being business one because no duh and two andre's my friend and i don't want to totally betrays trust. You know, any more than I have. Sure, person who gave me $150 for meat. Sure. Let's Shut down. up and eat. <laughs> Do you, uh... It's still kind of odd you guys on this situation as I stall for pizzas if there's anything else that you want to, uh... Uh, um, so I guess, Jet, you're not supposed to sort of talk a lot, so they're having the dinner and you're sort of there, or? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much the second layer of, or second layer of protection, so I'm kind of keeping my app shut, besides Andre's dad has a mean backhand. He sure does. Um, okay. So we don't exactly any... have... Has there been any uh, small talk or personal information? There was a bunch of small talk about a variety of different subjects, as you often do with small talk, until probably yeah. about 45 minutes of meat consumption has happened. They are, yeah. like, there was a door that you guys came into your little room, and then they are, you are being served through a different room. Um, like a different doorway that's not out to the public. Uh after about 45 minutes of straight meat consumption and her consuming salad, um, they all kind of turn their, their coasters down and uh, just kind of begin to get into actual business. Um, Was there anything interesting in the small talk? No, nah, not in the actual small talk. It is, okay. you know, how was your flight? How was the the rest of this kind of stuff, just urban brawl, the convention, talking about the food and how you, oh, you should try this thing or that thing, it's just delicious, etc. Um, I have just been warned by the girlfriend that the food is ascending the staircase. So with that, 
let's take a couple minutes break and uh, we will be back to see what happens um, I'm quite or, okay with that if you guys have questions for me to answer when we get started I will uh, just write them down somewhere and we'll be right back <laughs> 